Hi, this is Dr. Tracy Moreno, psychologist. So go ahead and find somewhere comfortable to lay or sit. Somewhere quiet where you won't be disturbed. And just begin to breathe. Breathe in deeply through your nose and exhale out the mouth. And begin to deepen that breath and extend the inhale and the exhale. With each exhale, allowing your body to relax into the breath. Gently closing the eyes if you haven't already. And beginning to let go. Letting go and relaxing the mind and the body. And on your next inhale, I want you to breathe in as much air as you can and hold your breath for a mental count of three or four. And then when you're ready, breathe out as slowly as you can through your mouth, almost as if you're breathing through a straw. And relax the body into that breath. And then breathe comfortably. Go ahead and do that one again. Breathe in, take in as much air as you can, holding for three or four, and exhaling out as slowly as possible as you relax the body into that breath. And then breathe comfortably. Feeling your body now relaxing even deeper deeper into relaxation. And when you're ready, go ahead and do that breath again on your own. Good. For a long time now, you have been troubled by a fear of being rejected, abandoned, or judged. Because of this, you may have built up walls around you to protect yourself from being hurt by others, never realizing that by doing this, you were also not letting anyone in, which was also hurting you. I don't know how or why you have felt this way, but your inner mind knows everything that has happened to you. It knows every feeling and every motion you have ever experienced it. All is recorded here in your unconscious mind. And today we are going to go back in time, possibly as far back as childhood, a time when you can remember an age when you felt these painful feelings of rejection abandonment and judgment. We are going to go back and change any negative conditioning that led to these fears, doubts, and insecurities. And today you are here to heal from these fears and feel more confident and proud and accept yourself for the wonderful, kind, loving person you know you are. So let us begin Rewind time in your mind and take yourself back as far back as you need to. Just allow your mind to drift and wander back in time. Perhaps you are now remembering a time that you felt rejected, abandoned, or judged in a way that was going to affect you for many years to come. 
If you're unable to recall a specific memory, that's okay. Perhaps you can recall the feeling or the fear of rejection, abandonment, or judgment. It may also be a feeling of not being good enough or less than somehow. But as these memories come to mind, you find that you are now able to see and understand these emotions from a completely new perspective. As if you're looking through a new set of glasses that is able to see things more clearly and objectively. You see yourself experiencing the pain and the fear, but at the same time, you have the insight and understanding of the adult you are now, the wiser you. You want to comfort your younger self to help them and reassure them. And you instinctively know what you need to do to comfort your younger self. Envision that younger self in your mind now. And also envision yourself as you are now. Go ahead and walk to them. Sit with your younger self and give that younger self exactly what they need to heal. Give your child self-love and warmth. Give your child self attention and understanding. Reassure your child self that you are strong, capable, and successful, and you're able to handle any situation, struggle, challenge, and emotion that comes your way. Explain to your child self that in order to deepen relationships, you must be open to freely give love and receive love. Sometimes this can be scary and make you feel vulnerable and there is never a guarantee that the other person will love you back or never leave. But you know that if you don't take this risk, then you will be the one hurting and sabotaging yourself. So you are not actually saving yourself from any pain or rejection. In fact, you are the one causing it. You realize this now and make the easy decision today to stop sabotaging yourself. Your unconscious mind understands this well and knows that the risk of lowering those walls you built, thinking you are protecting yourself and instead letting people in is well worth the reward. And your unconscious mind is listening to these words right now, knowing your truest desires of wanting to love and be loved, where the love is equally reciprocated and mutually respected. This is the purest of love. For this love to be so pure, you must allow it to flow freely. And it may flow in and out of your life at different times and by different people, and that's okay. Because true love must be mutually respected and reciprocated. When someone chooses not to love us, it may seem like rejection or abandonment towards us, but you now understand that it is not. 
you now understand that everyone is on their own path in life. So it is not a form of judgment when someone else chooses their own path because it is not about us at all, it is about them. Perhaps they too have been hurt or let down and built the same wall you built in order to protect themselves. Maybe they're just preoccupied with other things that are going on in their life. Maybe you even remind them of someone else who hurt them in the past and they're projecting those feelings onto you. We never really know why someone chooses to walk away. Perhaps even if they do judge something we do or say, it's still not a reflection of us. It is a reflection of them. And they are not rejecting you as a person. This is a rejection they are experiencing inside themselves. Because if they knew you as a whole person, for the entire person you are, they would see that they were just seeing a snapshot in time and that it is not the full person you are. Everyone has their own personal reasons for why they choose to like or not like people. And oftentimes they are not even consciously aware of these reasons, which gives you even more reason to not take it personally and let it go. This realization releases you of all fears, worries, doubts, and insecurities. For you realize you too have had to leave others in order to follow your own path. And you realize that your choice to leave or set boundaries was not about them. It was about you. Feel this release of fears, worries, doubts, and insecurities now like breaking free of chains draped tightly around your body that have been holding you back in life and in love for many, many years. I wonder if you can feel the relief as the hard, heavy chains fall from your body, feeling the relief and freedom that comes from choosing you. And as you sit with your younger self, an amazing transformation begins to happen. You realize that you no longer need to fear rejection, abandonment, and judgment from anyone in the world ever because you accept yourself. That's right. You choose you every day. You understand with clarity and wisdom that there will be some Times people may reject or judge something you say or do, but you also know that it is not really about you or you who they are judging. And more and more, you are beginning to love yourself for the wonderful person you are. You accept yourself. You are kind to yourself and you are kind to others. You find you don't need to be worried about what others think or say about you. In fact, you realize that it really doesn't matter what they think or say, as long as you, yes, you accept and love yourself. So as long as you are true to yourself, you don't need to please others. If they don't accept the way that you are, then that is really their problem and their loss. You see your value and you do not have to prove this to anyone because people who truly love and accept you already see your value. You also know that you deserve the same acceptance and love in return as you give everybody else. You begin to see situations with more clarity and understanding. 
coming from a place of love, choosing you and understanding that everyone must choose themselves and your paths may be separate. I'd like you to go back now to your younger self and show and express to them the acceptance and love that you know you always deserved. Go ahead and thank your younger self for coming forward today. Tell your younger self you will always be here to reassure or comfort or simply encourage. But for now, say goodbye to your younger self, who is now feeling confident, accepted and loved. Thank yourself, be proud of yourself for taking this time for you today, healing and growing, growing towards your highest good. Feel the love in your heart, the softness in your mind. Give yourself a nice deep breath in, waking up the body. Another deep breath in, filling it with life, giving energy and a renewed spirit and hope and love. Wiggling your fingers and toes, gently opening your eyes. Namaste.